Do you have bad internet? Have you already tried using a 5G router and it's still bad? If, like us, this is your situation, I thought this might help. We have just received from Germany, it got shipped from Starlink. Yes, we're going next level. So um, I thought we'd have a look what is in the box because I found when we were looking for it, um, it was not particularly clear what you would get and then what you would need to get extra. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to look at um, has it actually improved the internet? I'll let you know how easy the installation was and then I'll let you know how much it costs. All right, so here we go. It's quite a big box. Uh, shipping time was pretty quick, well packed, and we can already see here is the dish. Now, I believe this base just for test purposes, because you do, of course, have to put it quite high up, like on the roof of the house, maybe. And this is not going to cut the mustard, unless I suppose it has got holes in the corners where you could screw it in if you've got a surface that will accept those screws all right stand then we've got the dish boom all right and the dish has got cable which is going to go all the way into the router all right and then we've got this pretty snaz looking router all right so here he is and uh, what have we got here? On the base of the router, obviously power goes in there and the Starlink plugs in there. Lovely. And the only other thing in the box is the power lead for the router. Okay, and then um, to make it work for us, we had to buy a few extra bits. So we use a mesh Wi-Fi system in the house so that it spreads the wi-fi all over the house so um to be able to use that uh i think this this did cost a little bit extra again i'll put all the costs at the end um this is a mesh adapt adapter so you plug your ethernet into there and off we go we got this one which is a mount that will go into a kind of flat surface. Um, it's called the Starlink Long Wall Mount. All right, so let's have a look, see what we get in the box with that. Oh, we is that a box of screws? We've got, yeah, a few uh, pieces. Yeah, nice big uh, solid bit of metal, which we will yeah screw into the side of the house like that so i suppose it'll go like that and then the dish will go up from there also what is this oh this is a um yeah i saw this on a video that i watched um you get kind of like a bag type thing to put the dish in to help you carry it up the ladder very handy well done elon uh, some dirty great big bolts for sticking that mount into wherever you're going to stick it. Silicon sealant. Uh, you never know when you might need to seal something. This is to close the gap. And then in the box, it's actually a box of cable clips for a tidy job. Well done. Okay, so there we go. I suppose I'd better erect it and then I'll let you know how we got on. Okay, yes, I am up a ladder, um, quite high up actually. Um, so yeah, got the dish mounted, very nice. Um, it was quite a straightforward process. Well, if I said that, I'd be lying. But um, yeah, so started off with fitting the bracket to what I thought was quite a strong part of the house where there's some access away from the gutters to get it up and above the roof um, and then the actual longest bit was routing the cable through the loft Ooh, that was evil but um now it's done got it plugged in 
she's up. Um, just got the last thing. Okay, so the wife is just about to power it up. We should see this bad boy move to find the satellites in orbit so that it can beam us that sweet internet. Okay, I suppose it must have found the satellite. So let's check the speed. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at our existing network speed. Yeah, as you can see, not fantastic. Okay, so we're now connected to the Starlink. This is without the mesh and we're pretty far away from the router. So we'll just see how this is. SpaceX Starlink, there we are. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Ripping! Okay, so it's now the next day and I just thought we'd do another test because yesterday when I did the test, uh, it was pretty cloudy. In fact, about 20 minutes later, there was a violent storm. Oh yes, and it's a clear sky today and clearly it's making a big difference. These numbers are saying to me, well worth the money which we're going to come on to in a jiffy. Well, we decided to rent the equipment rather than buy it. Um, they have got special deals on at the moment where it's, I think, just €350 Euros to buy the dish and the cable and the router. Uh, but it's gone in as part of our kind of um, monthly payments. So our monthly payments... Uh, with unlimited data and the equipment, it's now 55 euros a month, which I think somehow we got a special deal. Very nice. Um, the bit that went on the side of the house that mounted it, we had to buy that. That was 75 euros. There was a 75 euro initial charge, um, which we had to pay. So on top of everything else. And then another 40 euros for the little box to link the Starlink to the uh, mesh system that we've got running throughout the house. So there we go. Great deal. Works really well. Would even work if you're on a boat, in a camper van, basically anywhere with electricity.